Hey there folks, welcome back to Fits and Cardboard. Today we are covering our top five board game accessories to enhance your board gaming experience. So we're not gonna be covering some of your obvious stuff. Everybody always talks about like card sleeves, uh, card holders, dice trays, dice towers, uh, game mat for your table. Yeah, none of that. Yeah, no, no, no. Anyway, we hope you enjoy the video. We hope we help you make mm -hmm. your game day just a little bit more special. And if you enjoy this video, yeah. as usual, like and subscribe, comment down below. It helps out the channel. We mm -hmm. will catch you in a second. So first and foremost, before we get into our top five list, I have to tell you that the best board game accessory of all time, if budget is not a consideration, is a 3D printer. 3D printers can be used for anything from board game inserts to tokens to deluxe components to uh, tray overlays to basically anything you can imagine. Definitely pick one up if you can afford one. They are so useful. I know it generates a hobby on its own, but there's some new printers like the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon or P1P that just make it kind of effortless. Definitely worth a look. So our number five pick is just an amazing phone application. Basically your game day starts, you've chosen a game, you've set it up. Some games have some nifty rules for who goes first, but this app fixes that for you. This app's called Schwazi. It's free on Android and iOS. You just boot it up. Each player puts their finger on it. You spend a few seconds waiting for it to pick. And then all of a sudden, would you look at that? That's the first player. Is picking the first player really such a big deal? Like, do I really need an application for this? Can't we just roll dice? I mean, you can, but let me tell you just it doesn't seem like a big thing until you install it. And then once you've installed it, you will go to that app every single time you're picking the first player. Trust me on that. So we all know that tons of board games these days have tons and tons of different cards. And one of the things that gets annoying when you're trying to do cleanup or setup is all of your cards are all together. So as an honorable mention, we wanted to mention these card dividers. These are about $10 for a pack of 50 and they're super, super useful. You can write on these. They keep everything separate and just make everything really, really easy to set up, clean up and just keep everything organized. Okay. So card dividers leads us into our number four. These are really cool multi-use tokens. They're kind of like card shaped whiteboards that you can use for all kinds of different applications. If you run out of tokens, you can use these to record additional ones. If you run out of coins and currency, if you want to pass notes to other players, all kinds of different stuff. Your imagination can take you wherever you want. One of the, our favorite things to do with it is in like area control games when you're not supposed to be really allied with people, but you wanna kind of send a message to somebody else, you can write a note so the other players at the table don't know what your plans are. Another great thing to go along with these is fine point dry erase markers that are really nice. Uh, most games come with kind of the thick ones and these just look so much nicer on the table and on your board that you're playing on. Number three is a resounding vote for component trays. My significant other would laugh if she watched this and she will be laughing when she watches this because I'm the most disorganized person on earth. But trust me, when I'm playing a board game, I want all my components to have a place and all my tokens to be somewhere where I know where they are. Um, these silicon muffin cups, our buddy Adam put us onto these. Thank you, Adam and Shayna. We appreciate you, shout out to you guys. We haven't turned back. These are amazing. It's like 10 bucks for a set of 20. They're so fantastic. But if you want an upgrade on those and a bit of a quality of life improvement, these game trays, uh, X and Y inserts here, they have like dividers or not dividers. They're so great and they also fit inside your game boxes. So you can put like player tokens or chits or whatever into these, then it helps you set them up as well. Either way, uh, you can't go wrong with either of these options. Definitely pick one of them up. Number three, game trays. Okay, so our number two is a laminator. Surprisingly, these things are actually pretty affordable and they're so useful for so many different games. Uh, we've got scoring pads for Cascadia, for Trailblazers, for fit to print and so many other games. Basically, you just take one sheet, you laminate it, and then you reuse it over and over and over again. You use dry erase markers rather than throwing stuff out all the time. It looks nicer, it's cleaner, it's easier for the setup. It's just great. Another place that a laminator is super useful is like roll and write or flip and write games where the boards aren't already whiteboards. Um, it just does a good job of keeping all of these relatively reusable and you never run out of sheets and you could just make as many copies as you think you'll have players and put the rest back in the box. It's just such a good way to A, improve your quality of life because you can use any colored markers you want on any game you want and B, just make them reusable and not have to go through an entire stack of paper as you play the game for its life and keep your resale value high, that sort of thing. So our number one is here and our number one is a nice replacement for your currency in all your board games. Now, there's a couple of options here. You can get some really beautiful uh, metal chips that come for each individual game, like the Arc Nova chips or something like that. Or you can do what we prefer and get a set of poker chips for 
all your games and apply these to all your games whenever you play them. There's two really great options here. There's the iron clays, which are not as available, generally speaking, but are really pretty like clay chips. Or you have your pirate gold poker set, which are these just beautiful metal chips. They weigh about 18 grams each. They're so nice. I think everyone is familiar with iron clays. These came with the deluxe edition of Brass Birmingham. They are so beautiful. They're just some standard poker chips. They're clay. They have a pretty design on them. I don't think we're introducing anything new here. I think you're very familiar with what these are. We use these for a lot of games, but the issue we find with iron clays is they don't really fit the theme of a whole bunch of games. They're very good for Euro games, but once you leave that Euro space, they don't really thematically line up as well. And that is where these pirate gold poker chips come in. Now, we reached out to pirate gold to be able to review these for you. And we want to cover these because we just think they're so striking and so amazing. The table presence on these is next level. Now, I will say you don't need the box this big. This is egregious, you don't need 300 chips. Get a pack of 100, you'll be laughing and happy. Um, something we like about these and something we, the reason we use these a lot is A, uh, we can set the values of all these chips so we're not stuck to the iron clays values and sizing. We noticed for games like Hegemony, for example, iron clays look great next to Hegemony but this, the, the values weren't right for it. Secondly, you can't really use iron clays for like sci-fi type games, but believe it or not, even though these are like pirate themed chips, these two work great in almost any sci-fi game. And then thirdly, I mean, look, these are just so fidgety, so weighty. There's nothing quite like metal chips. I mean, they just stand out on the table. You'll see some in B-roll here. Now we do want to reiterate that we were sent these by Pirate Gold for review, but we reached out to them. And we're not saying that the iron clays aren't great. These things are still great for Brass Birmingham, as well as all kinds of different other games. And not just for currency, you can also use them to track points as well. Uh, but these are so nice. They are a luxury accessory, but the thematic element of this, it works so well with sci-fi games that these unfortunately don't. It works with stuff like pirate themed games, like John mentioned, Western Legends. They're just such a nice addition to really level up what your game looks like on the table and that tactile experience, it's so good. Okay, everyone, so that is our top five board game accessories to level up your playing experience. It is, and what a list. I mean, look, mm. all of them would level up your experience so much. They yeah. would definitely improve your board game times and game days. Absolutely. I host board game nights all the time, and all those things come mm -hmm. so in handy for me. Oh, 100%. If you enjoyed the video, uh, as per usual, like and subscribe. Yeah. If you disagree with us, comment down below. Mm -hmm. um, what else? We're going to be at Breakout Con. Yeah. Uh, March yeah. 15th to 17th, downtown Toronto. If you're there, come so say excited. hello. We'd love to see you. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, come say hi. You just watched Chits and Cardboard. I'm John. I'm Jeff. We'll catch you next time. See you.